Hi guys, 18 Dap here, and for this episode we're trying something a little bit different. It's this week's Comment of the Week. Let's get the video started. So last week, Comment of the Week was a little feature within the match preview. Um, got a little bit of feedback, mainly from Vicky, that I went off on a little bit of a tangent. So it took away from the match preview um, I'd love feedback from you guys if you prefer it in this format or if you'd prefer it incorporated into the match preview but for this week comment of the week let's get started with it being a different format gonna do a couple of comments so the first one from William Thompson nice uh, this was posted on the uh, pre-season game against Hull nice to see you back again you said you thought Marquis was going but I thought but I thought of you and Donny when I heard the news that it was coming here to Pompey. I'm beginning to worry for you guys, so all the best in this situation. Just seeing highlights on Hull site, you look quite good. Now, William, totally agree. Um, I thought we looked good in spells against Hull. Uh, we showed them how to play on a number of occasions throughout that game. And the same on Saturday. Uh, played some good football in the second half. So, me personally, I'm not too worried about our situation. We need additions, definitely need additions. Uh, need some more signings in the next couple of days. Mainly up front, in my opinion. Um, we've got Ennis. He looked half decent. He didn't have a lot of time on Saturday playing, but what I did see of him, he looked like he could be a similar player to Malik Wilkes last year. Um, but Marquis, big loss. No two ways about it. 26 goals last season. That is very difficult to replace. Um, but for me, I'd sooner see three or four players getting 10 goals a season than one player getting 20. And I think potentially we focused a lot of our play, get it to Marquis, give him the opportunities. Um, so hopefully, with Marquis gone, gives the guys in and around the opportunity to uh, pop up and grab some goals and Kieran Sadlier scored a beauty on Saturday so hopefully that's a sign of things to come but all the best to John at Portsmouth I think it's the right decision for him being closer to the family especially with his second child coming family first for me no two ways about it and we've got a bit of money for him as well so William I hope Marquis is a, as good a player for you as he was for us um, thank you for the memories John what, what else can we say? Um, I was a big supporter of John. A lot of people weren't, but each to their own. Um, but yeah, I'll be keeping an eye on Portsmouth results and hopefully seeing John bag a few until you play us. On to the next comment. So this one was put on the Doncaster vs Gillingham match preview. And this is from Robert Grace. He says, where do you see Rovers' greatest strengths and weaknesses this year? Uh, creating chances on the midfield, defensively sound unit at the back, lack goals, what are your thoughts? So, strengths, I think defensively we've looked solid in the three games that I've seen this season. We've had good shape both from the defence into midfield and up front. We press off the ball, uh, that's carried on from McCann last year, um, definitely if we lose the ball, we'll try and get it back quickly. For me, the big weaknesses is the final ball in the final third. Um, it was similar last year. There were so many opportunities where we could have got a decent ball in um, and had a bit more opportunity to, to score. But it just seems to be lacking. Sometimes we look like we're out of ideas. And for me, that's my greatest weakness, Just that, just that. That cutting edge, I think Grant McCann said it a lot last year. Um, Darren Moore said it already this year that we're lacking that that cutting edge and that kind of bite up front. And hopefully we get a couple of additions in, which uh, which help us in that area. But yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to the, the positive signs on Saturday, and hopefully that continues at Rochdale next Saturday. Um, but we will see. I think. I still think it's a mid-table season, a rebuilding season, and then push on next year. I hope I'm proved wrong, but we will see. 
and that's it for this video guys uh, thank you for watching if you prefer this format in the comments down below let me know uh, feedback is greatly appreciated but if you want this still in the match previews I'm happy to do that as well um, but if you're new to this channel don't forget to like the video um, comments in the section down below don't forget you could be featured in this video one week in the future I want comments that we can talk about and um, that get us thinking or just generally any any comment I, I look through every single comment reply to them and if there's something that I think we can talk about in here I will and don't forget to subscribe as always thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one